All right, so I'm going to do an experiment with a combined uh, system. So I've got my oil reservoir here. I'm going to put that reservoir on top of this system I've just put together. I'm using uh, this steel galvanized pipe instead of the copper because I'm looking for resilience, something that's a bit more rigid. The copper is quite soft and flexible, works very well. Vaporizes the oil inside the copper core. And the other thing about this is it means I can dial in different kinds of nozzles. So I've just put in here, I've drilled out three holes in this particular nozzle and I'll see how that works and I can, I've got a few of these and I can just drill different number of holes and different diameter holes to get different size jets. Now this is going to sit and hang over the plate. Now this is, this is an independent oil burning system by itself. It's what I call the triple plate system. It's got a bit of oil in there right now. That's just uh, two plates bolted together and two dishes. They're actually old pot lids. So just an old pan at the bottom, just a pot holder to sit this dish and see how it bolted through the middle. The smaller dish inside the bigger dish, so it sits in there and you can see how the oil is puddling. Um, the oil spills through that hole, drops down to the one underneath which has a bit of ceramic wool which wicks it up. So we get a really hot um, fire coming off of the oil which is dripping down into this plate and then overflowing and then igniting lower plates which then heat up the upper plates and so we get a really hot self-sustaining oil vapor burner. Okay, there we go. you see the subplate is also ignited and that's going to heat things up as well. Kind of a steady drip coming from our little nozzle. There, yep, you can see that. And that's feeding the system. All right, I'm closing the door. I'll get the thing hot and we'll see what happens. smoky. So that works, but it's not completely clean. When I did this system, the preheating uh, oil in the tube, which I did with a copper coil, you see these two jets all shooting up and shooting forward into the port, which is backwards from here. Uh, I found that gives me a jet of uh, vaporized oil blasting into the rocket system and that burns a lot more cleanly. So now the oil from the dish is burned out completely and they're just on vapor. Just running on hot oil vaporizing. Have a look. No smoke. So what I'm going to do here is try and combine the two systems because to get this to uh, get up to temperature I need to have something like this underneath it anyway. I need to have some kind of plate system which will catch the uh, drips of oil before it gets hot enough, ignite them, make the whole system hot and then once the system gets hot it will start vaporizing in the pipes and will jet out of that nozzle and blast into the rocket at the back, the riser. Down here, very nice, very clean and we're getting uh, reburn air from our tertiary air holes, our tertiary air feed is actually working. Also very happy about that. And the flame that's coming to the top, you can see there's no smoke in it, it's totally clean. That's what it looks for. So in this case, what I'm trying to achieve is the cleanest, most complete burn of waste oil, but I'm also trying to achieve a stable, safe to use system that I can put into the field in the Himalayas that will be reliable over the long term. So in this case, when the jets do block up, which is almost inevitable, um, that little brass nut is easy to take out and those holes can be just poked clean and then that can be put back together. So I'm deliberately trying to make something that's both resilient and highly efficient. So I'm gonna light this thing up and let's see what happens. Right, 
so this is just the oil from the dish. I haven't primed this yet, so I need to prime the tube. Get some oil to run down into that lower tube. Yep. Okay, oil to squirt it out. So now the system is primed. And we're going to let it get hot. Okay, so we're five minutes into the heating process. We can see that the dish system just works immediately. That's already working very nicely. You can see in here that there's already a really good rocket flame in the riser. That's purely from the dish. The temperature on top is just starting to heat up now. And what we're looking for is a little bit of flame starting to emerge from the end of that pipe. So that's uh, probably take 10-15 minutes for it to get really hot enough to jet. But that's what we're looking for. Okay, well, she's in jet mode. It took 10 minutes or less. We're only about just coming up to 10 minutes in now. And look at that. It's jetting very nicely. The oil in the dish is starting to burn down. There's less dish oil burning off. And you can see in there, there's a lot of oil, a lot of vapor, I mean, uh, swirling around the interior of this primary combustion chamber, which is keeping the chamber hot, which is what we want. And that seems to be jetting nice and steadily into the riser, which is what we want. Let's have a quick look at the riser. Temperature probe there. Okay. Now that's looking very nice, clean and steady. Let's have a look at that. That's very, very reduced smoke. That's what we're looking for. In fact, I can barely see any smoke at all. I can't see anything. So we're getting a clean burn. We're only 10 minutes in, maybe 11, 12 minutes now. It's looking clean in the riser. It's swirling nicely. We're getting a good temperature at the top of the lid. That's what we want. Now I'm going to shut the valve at the back here, which will cause more heat to trap in the box. So we get more heat radiance from the box, <clears throat> which will make this level temperature go up. I see that happening immediately. And here. Okay, we've got a, still got a mix of dripping and jetting going on here. But that's why we've got the dishes. So if we get drips, they'll be caught and they'll burn off in the traditional system. And when it's jetting, oh, that's getting hot. Okay, I can barely hold my knuckles near that. Okay, so we're exactly 30 minutes into the burn. I'm using the jet system as combined with the dish system. So we've got two systems combined. You see the dishes are now burned out and we're just running on jets. Jets have, uh, this particular jet nozzle has three holes and you can see how there's two visible jets. And if it cools down a little bit, it starts to drip into the dish and the dish heats up and gets the system going again. Those two jets are blasting nicely and Quickly have a look up here, how it looks aside. Got a very nice burn in the riser. And uh, this is 30 minutes in, so the whole system is stabilized. It's just uh, gravity feeding from the reservoir here. And we're running quite clean. There's a little wisp of smoke up there, but not very much. So I think we're pretty close to a working system now. And I'm just gonna work on a safer oil reservoir and um, I'm just going to let it burn for a while see how it looks after a couple of hours of burning.